Hey everyone, welcome back into our Thursday night edition of the Fairbanks Evening News. Mike Schultz with you once again, talking about weather, and it was another great day. I almost called it a day. I just, it was just so beautiful out there. I didn't even want to come in, and it's going to be even better tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday. So we're looking at a fantastic weekend. Look at this guy over my shoulder. This is a pretty good picture. This was sent in by uh, Susan Slicker. This is a snowshoe rabbit, as you can see very nicely uh, designed and a good photograph there and he doesn't really care what's going on anyway again thanks for uh, sending that in susan and as always if you have a photograph you want to share be sure and share it with us at photos at ktbf11.com nice photo here's your numbers right now 52 degrees after a high well that's our high today 52 currently the low last night 36 look at that record high 76 in 2009, in contrast, 8 degrees above in 1937. The good news is we went over 17 hours of daylight today, 17 hours and 2 minutes, because our sunrise and sunset works out to that with a gain of 7 minutes from yesterday. How about that? On the satellite and radar, there's just a few scattered showers across the central sections of the state. Not too much going on. More rain moving across southeast Alaska. And over the southwest part of the state, well, there's a little bit of shower activity around Bethel and uh, some of the areas there, but nothing really heavy and nothing really organized by any means. On the big map, as you can see once again, temperatures still cool over southeast Alaska. Showers at Juneau and Ketchikan. Some showers at Cold Bay, but in between, just mainly cloudy to partly cloudy skies for Anchorage and Kodiak. Up and down the west coast, pretty nice day in Bethel, 52 degrees. Not quite as warm as it has been in Nome, 35, and Barrow at 17 degrees, cooling down a little bit with a nice day at Fort Yukon, 45. Lower 48 weather looks like this, and again, we are talking about very warm temperatures moving back into the southwest, 99 degrees at Phoenix, 95 in Las Vegas, even 88 degrees in San Francisco, so the south southwest is uh, really cooking up pretty good. A nice day in Denver, 79 there in Minneapolis, a few isolated thunderstorms moving around, but no severe weather. That's the good news. As you can see, nice weather up and down the East Coast, too. On the satellite and radar, the last remnants of this area of low pressure are starting to move out over the Atlantic Ocean. The rest of the country looking pretty good. Just a small band of showers and thunderstorms moving through the central and northern plains, and the West Coast looking really good, too. Now, as far as next week, well, it may be a different story. The jet stream is expected to bring a lot of moisture in from the Gulf of Mexico and from Mexico itself with warmer temperatures. That sets the stage for more thunderstorms breaking out. Some of those could be severe. The overall outlook for this weekend is calling for that warm air to start moving in over a large portion of the country. And there's the thunderstorms we saw today moving across the northern plain. So we'll keep an eye on that. Well, back to Alaska for tomorrow. The northern sections, flurries and fog for Barrow. So still a little winter type conditions. Sunny skies for Nome and mostly sunny skies for Fort Yukon. Here in the interior, a great day for the Fairbanks area. Still some lingering showers around the Healy area and even a possibility of some rain and snow showers in the Delta Junction re region, mainly to the east of Delta Junction. Over southeast Alaska, yes, yeah, still going to be wet there. Scattered showers for Juneau and also for Ketchikan. Well, over to the southwest part of the state, scattered showers for Cold Bay and Bethel, but rain will become mainly showers in the Kodiak region. And down around the Anchorage Bowl, not too bad, mostly cloudy in Anchorage, cloudy skies at Homer, and partly cloudy for Valdez. Okay, it's time once again for our kids' weather, and we're going to wrap it up this week with a visit with a teacher from Denali Elementary School. Hello, I'm Mr. Keener, and this is my fifth grade class here at Denali Elementary School, and we have a weather fact to share with you. Class, did you know that the lowest temperature ever recorded in the 50 states was right here in Prospect Creek, southwest of Fort Yukon, when the thermometer dropped to 80 below zero? Whoa. <laughs> I was right. That is cold. Again, thanks to Mount McKinley Bank for sponsoring our kids' weather. And next week, we're going to have the kids from Joy Elementary School. All right, here's your forecast for the remainder of the night. Most of the clear skies, a little cooler, 33 degrees. Tomorrow's forecast, 55 degrees, lots of sunshine. And again, the weekend is looking great. As you see here, the five-day outlook, 60-degree temperature starting on Sunday, running all the way through Wednesday. Overnight lows will also be very nice with mid-30s all the time, even upper 30s possible and not really any precipitation expected. So really good weather. I love this.